Hello world, my name is Elizabeth and today I want to chat a little bit about macro photography. Micro photography, close-up photography. Now there's always a big thing going on about which is which. For me it's, you know, taking something small and photographing it, it big, making a small ant look big on photographs. To me that's all it is and there's so many different ways of doing macro and micro and close-up photography. Now, on a recent trip that um, I did, I had the privilege of taking a 200 to 500 mil lens with, for the main reason to do, you know, kind of bird photography. And I end up doing a lot of close-up photography, uh, which surprised me. I used to always use the Nikon 105 macro lens for these type of things but you really have to get close to some of these insects and some are skittish especially butterflies and you know things that can fly away <laughs> or run away quickly but what I found was with the 200 to 500 uh, they they didn't notice me so I didn't scare them away and I could really you know after a few tries get really good pictures and I'll show you some and then the other thing I did I did do the 105 uh, photography, but this time I got the privilege of borrowing a RC1C kit. It's a Nikon RC1C kit and it consists of three little, let me just double check that, I don't want to be wrong. They consist of three little wireless remote speed lights, SBR 200s which they are called and you can fit them onto a ring that goes on the front of your lens and at first when I put it on, I've put on all three <laughs> because you know what, you want to try everything at all at once and I found a little spider to photograph. Now these spiders only come out at night and to find them during the day is, is really hard, you don't, you don't see them but at night they go out hunting and luckily I had you know some light on the subject but still usually I would not even try photographing these little spiders because you know I can't uh, get it lit very nicely so what I did I thought this was the perfect opportunity to use these so I put it on and uh, put it on full power for the first few shots and nearly didn't see a spider after a few adjustments, I brought it down um, to to an eighth of, of the strength of the flash. And what I saw there was detail that I haven't seen before. Now, I did take one or two photographs with, with a normal SB900 on, on camera, which is um, not bad at all, but it just didn't have that much depth that you get with something that are lit from more than one side. And these flashes are so versatile, I couldn't believe it. After a while I took one off and uh, only shot with the two just to see the difference, which worked as beautifully as all the others. And, but this was at night, obviously. So I couldn't wait the next day to take it out in the field during you know, one of my morning <laughs> excursions out to find bugs. And I found a few. Um, I took photographs with these flashes and without. And I was surprised about how different these photographs look. And although both has got beautiful features to it, I'm, I'm really keen. I, I never was a flash photography fan, but I'm getting to be a fan very quickly. And uh, so I do recommend, you know, playing around with these kind of things. Uh, the RC1 kit has got diffusers if you don't want to use the strong strength. Um, of, of the flash. You've got diffusers to use. So many different angles. You can move these flashes around everywhere. The one thing I do find, it's hard to take them out in the field not attached to your lens because bugs don't usually sit still in one place. You do find a few that are quite, you know, placid and they, and they don't get scared quite easily and fly off. And then you get other ones that are just, they don't, they don't want to sit still for one second. And so there you need to be versatile and moving with your camera gear. And that's why I feel to have these little flashes on the front of your lens 
is gorgeous and so quick to use. A few quick turns of, of a button and you get a different effect. So I do recommend playing around with a few flashes and I hope you enjoyed um, some of my samples which I got to do and are very excited about. Hope you guys enjoyed this as much as I did and uh, if you liked it please like it, if you loved it share it